1100 words you need to know week 11 day 2 uh, the first word is phlegmatic uh, Fatima means means pal, <laughs> calm Sorry. calm yes calm and mm. not worried yes means indifferent carefree means uh, unexcitable you see some people are as as cool as a cucumber you know they never uh, worry about anything and sometimes I envy them yeah. you know they have so many problems in their lives that when you see they are relaxed <laughs> 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 to be honest sometimes I envy them I wish I, I were to some extent like them anyway okay next corroborate 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 means backup backup yes support, support. Yeah. advocate support. Mm -hmm. very good next Comprehensive mm -hmm. means complete. Yes, thorough, complete. And next, zealous, 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 uh, zealous, mm -hmm. zealous. When you're zealous in doing something, you're you're interesting to do that. I mean, mm -hmm. yes, you have enough uh, tendency. And what is the noun form of that? Do you know? Zealousness? Zeal. Zeal. Mm, yeah, we have zealousness, but I, we must have. I'm not sure what. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, but the noun form, the main noun is zeal. Zeal? Yes, Z E A L. Means eagerness. Okay. And zeal? Next, yes, Z E A L, zeal. Oh, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, next. Course means mm -hmm. force. Yes. Force somebody to do something that they do not like, and uh, also in English we say twist somebody's arms. You know? Yes. yes. Okay. So no relief. Uh, so some first syllable, first uh, sentence. Uh, the normally phlegmatic Jerry, uh, Jerry Hart was deeply upset. Mm -hmm. So, uh, generally speaking, he was a calm person, relaxed. But uh, this time, ironically, he was deeply upset. Okay, distraught. Next. Yeah. The 24 hours had passed without result, and even if the rabbis could not be corroborated, Jerry was determined to see that his son receives the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Okay. 24 hours had passed without result, so uh, we did not. Mm, we did not know what to do and uh, even if the rabies uh, could not be corroborated Jerry was determined to see that his son received the vaccine vaccine or vaccine vaccine Sasan? vaccine vaccine American vaccine British Okay, so uh, they were not sure whether the the son was inf uh, inflicted with rabies or not. Uh, okay, next. At the suggestion of some friends, he organized a comprehensive search party, zealously fanning out in circles around this uh, supermarket. Mm -hmm. Zealously. Uh, Fan out means uh, going through, uh, for example, something by getting 
widen in a widen pattern going through something uh, while you are actually uh, while they are increasing the space between themselves yes spread spread through something and yeah. disperse and then actually try to in, investigate something collectively okay so the suggestion of somebody organized a search for the planning out in circle around the supermarket it's clear next they knocked on every door and inspected every duck and came back empty-handed mm -hmm. okay knock on i think in british we say knock at uh but in american english we say knock on every door every door inspected uh, inspected every dog instead of inspect could you use another verb yes examine examine yes scrutinize scrutinize yes examine mm -hmm. and came back empty-handed without any result okay so next Although the hearts were sick with worry, they had to be coerced into going to sleep. Little Bobby seemed to be a great spirit, to be in a great spirit. The excruciating vigil can continue. Mm -hmm. Spirits. Spirits. Uh, yes. Although the hearts, why, why do we have they here before hearts? Of my voice? Yes, yes, I'm mm -hmm. thinking. Mm -hmm. What is a noun? Is it? Yes. Uh, family what name. Is, what, what does it have? It? Uh, S? Yes, it is related. And also, why do we have there before? There. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It refers to the family. Yes, exactly. The whole family. Yes. When actually we put there before the family name and also the uh, verb for that is plural, it refers to the whole family members. Great. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're sick with worry. They had to be coerced into going to sleep. So they were, they were sleep deprived. And little Bobby seemed to be in a in great spirits, so he was in good in a good mood. The excruciating vigil continue. Uh, here, uh, Fatima, what does vigil refer to, or how can you explain about that or interpret it? Um, vigil refers to the fact it is doing asking for uh, finding the dog and uh, also doing the vaccine uh, about their her, about their son mm, no it doesn't mean that in this context Sasan uh, I think when you say that somebody is keeping uh, keep, a, keep a constant vigil mm -hmm. to do something it, it means that they are awake, especially in the middle of the night, and they are taking care of somebody or something. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's that is correct. But you just explained about it, but uh, did not just uh, contextualize it. Here, it refers to just uh, taking care of the uh, little boy, Bobby, uh, while he he was uh, sleeping, and actually he was in the. Uh, in the bed because actually he uh, they were looking after him and maybe actually till dawn so another night had to be spent on just uh, looking after and taking care of the um, sick person you see yes. no. 
So it doesn't refer to the dog or uh, another search. They were not supposed to search for or look for anybody. They were supposed to look after anybody. Look after means? Take care. Take care, care yes. Okay, sample sentences. Uh, number one, uh, Fatima. Harriet's egregious error disturbed even her phlegmatic employer. Employer. Harriet's egregious. Egregious means? Egregious means? Means uh, bad, noticeable. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes, reprehensible, foul, and uh, nefarious, and blatant also. Error disturbed even her phlegmatic employer. So, uh, Harriet was an employee. Is that right? Okay. No. Yeah. Why not? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Employee and the em employer counterparts. Yeah. Yes. Mm hmm. Sasan. Yeah, the fund in the fundraiser was so zealous that they solicited money from a Salvation Army Santa Claus. Yeah, that's so funny. And uh, when you raise fund. It means. Uh, it means that you give rise to getting some money. No, give rise to what? Uh, you are the cause of a decision for giving some money to you. No, uh, Father. For the moment, I don't have your voice. Okay, uh, when you raise fund, it means you collect money for charity. Sorry. Oh. Okay, so fundraiser is a collector of some money for some purposes, you know, usually for uh, altruistic purposes and benevolent person actually usually do does that so uh, he was so eager and enth enthusiastic that he solicited it means asked for money even from a salvation army santa claus it means actually a person who um, was to uh, supposed to just actually fund uh, fundraising or raise funds uh, on his own so he was trying to just get money from that person too yes mm -hmm. okay so in uh, okay number three yeah in order to get the job you had to go through the directory of filing out the 10 page comprehensive questionnaire filing filing or filling Feeling, ah, uh, yeah, feeling. Yeah. Okay, drudgery. What kind of a task is a drudgery? Uh, boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To be honest, doing the dishes is the most <laughs> intolerable drudgery that I have to do. But uh, the elusive fugitive uh, was coerced by the attorney into uh, surrendering. surrendering. Uh, okay, try to uh, pronounce it, the Elusive whole sentence. Uh, again, you mean? Yes. yes, the whole sentence, the elusive. Uh, the elusive uh, fugitive, fugitive. Uh -huh. fugitive, fugitive was coerced mm -hmm. by this attor attorney mm -hmm. into surrendering. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, who is a fugitive? Fugitive is someone uh, who is running away from the police. Mm. Yes, and that's why actually 
he or she is elusive. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or coerced by his attorney means? Lawyer. lawyer. Yes. Yes, a special lawyer who is supposed to just arrest somebody and take him or her to the court. I don't know. Can you give me a synonym? Surrender. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I don't. I know the meaning, but mm -hmm. the I cannot find any. Fatima, do you know? Uh, defeated. Defeated is not a verb. It is a past participle form. No. A synonym for that? Give in. Oh, okay. Yes, give in. Succumb. Yes. Give in. Yes, it's a phrasal verb. To admit defeat. Fatima, not defeated, but admit defeat. Okay, so number five. Yeah, even the swindler's nefarious accomplice refused to corroborate his alibi. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, as a verb, swindle means. Uh, so that means uh, uh, to give money by deceiving others. Give money by deceiving others? Get, get money, get, I mean. Yeah. So I just wanted to say, please deceive me, <laughs> but give money to me. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and also accomplice means? Means... Uh, Mm, a person who cooperate in doing the crime. Mm -hmm. That's right. A company refused to corroborate his alibi. Alibi means? Alibi means a request. Request? No. Sasa, do you know? Yes, yeah, it's a pretext. Mm -hmm. Some reason pretext. that you yes. yeah, bring up, which is not exact. Mm hmm. An excuse. Yeah. Okay, so phlegmatic means calm, hard to rouse to action, corroborate, confirm, support, comprehensive, thorough, zealous, enthusiastic, coerce, force. And idioms, Hassan? Fair weather friends, unreliable, they fail one. In time of distress, mm -hmm. but the general was uh, chagrined to learn that so many of his supposed supporters were actually fair-weather friends. So, any question? Yes, uh, I was mm -hmm. disconnected. In the case uh, number two, fundraiser. But mm -hmm. what did you say about fundraiser? Do you know what it means? Uh, no, no, I don't know the exact meaning. Okay, it means to collect money for some purposes. Gather money, collect money. For, for getting money for some purposes? Uh, collect, not get exactly. Collect is a better word. For example, actually, uh, there are some uh, altruistic tasks. You want to help some people and you raise some fund from people means you Sorry. collect money 